Hi, it's John from Crescent Management Centre here. Uh, I'd like to answer the question, does leadership training work? So the answer, I guess, is no and yes, hopefully, because we sell leadership training. So it kind of depends, really. I want to run through just a few ideas on this video. Um, first reason I want to share in terms of it, if it's not going to work, um, is if people are not motivated. So people have turned up on the training, and I think the most obvious one is if someone's been sent on a course. Um, so is, is that going to work in terms of leadership training, or probably any training? No. If people can see the benefit of the training, I think you know the, the, the yes version of that for me is if people can see the benefit of the training, um, it's they, they know that they're gonna be learning something that's maybe gonna be directly relevant to, to them or their team or some kind of goals that they've got, then yes, it's gonna much more likely work. Also, I would suggest in that case, if there is a kind of motivation question, should the person be on it? Is there somebody who's, who would be better to go on that training instead? Um, and for that individual, for those individuals that are not particularly motivated to come on the training, then in actual fact, is there an alternative to training? Training is, uh, I've done a video already on, is training the answer? Um, there are lots of alternatives. Somebody might benefit more from some coaching or some job shadowing or some, some other ways of, of learning rather than taking up a place on leadership training that maybe could have gone to somebody else. Second reason why leadership training might not work. So does leadership training work? No. Um, if people don't turn up, then it doesn't work. <laughs> fairly obvious one, um, but quite often we have um, programs that we run for companies and if people don't turn up, it's not gonna work, it's not magic. Um, and also, uh, if people don't engage, and I think we've seen differences in engagement as a result of doing more um, uh, Zoom or Teams-based, you know, kind of remote and virtual delivery, um, that there is potential for people to kind of be multitasking or to have their cameras off and things like that, that you just wouldn't see in a training room. And, that, and that's something that we need to kind of work on. So I think the alternative to that, so does training work? Yes. Um, if it's designed well, and if you have precise learning outcomes, again, similar to my previous point, um, I think if you've got the design right, um, then people are more likely to engage in, in something where they're connected to or aligned with those learning outcomes. The next reason why I think training, leadership training might not work um, is if you've got the wrong people, um, or maybe it's the wrong content rather than the wrong people on the training. Um, I think it does work if the people buying the training know what the needs are of the people who are coming on the training and again that needs to be done in a fairly precise way recently this week in fact i've delivered a leadership program um, that was to be uh, it was a level seven program it's kind of master's degree equivalent it was and um, people stepping into strategic roles and senior roles uh, and actual fact when i asked the p that was what the customer bought and then when I was asked, uh, when I asked the group, okay, so you know, what are your expectations? What are your personal outcomes? Right at the outset of that training course, they were very, very different from what had been purchased and what we were there to deliver. Um, is that my responsibility? Yes, partly, and also the responsibility of, uh, of the company buying it. So make sure if you're going on a leadership training, you know what the content is and what your outcomes are. And if you're the one buying it, again, similar. Another reason why leadership training isn't going to work is an overly demanding schedule. Uh, again, we work with lots of different companies, corporates, but also kind of small and medium sized companies where the schedule is unrealistic. When we put proposals together for leadership training, we do try and get as precisely as possible to like a number of kind of hours per month, let's say, that the program, the, the kind of loading of the program, if you like, for the people who are going on that training. And um, so everybody's clear from the outset, the people learning, but also the people buying the training, their line managers and so on. So you're clear that it's four hours a month or it's six hours or it's two hours, what it, you know, whatever might fit. It's got to fit within people's schedules. And what are you doing? Well, personal point, I suppose, work-life balance point. But if you're going to add six hours of training into your schedule for six months, then what, what six hours are you doing less of? Exercise or less of some, some kind of work priority. 
So I think to get it right, just the, the, the kind of yes version of does leadership training work? Yes, if you get the schedule right and the loading right. So that's really key. Uh, and the final point I'd like to consider uh, for, for does leadership training work is the poor choice of delivery methods. If you've got delivery me methods in your program that, uh, ooh, I could go on a while here, I'll try not to, but if, do they fit with the needs, the learning needs of the group? Um, do they, uh, are they, I get asked this question quite a lot, um, is it too wacky or is it too something, too this, too that? Because again, sometimes leadership training can be a bit faddy or a bit kind of um, fashionable. And our preference at Crescent Management Centre is to offer, in, offer something that really works and something that aligns with the business and aligns with people's needs. And I'm sure there is a place for that stuff. But actually, it does work, leadership training does work if it's fun and it's interactive, but also it's not too weird. Um, and, uh, and it's also a, a key element for us is that it's accessible and it meets a range of different people's needs. Um, and, and again, tying it in with my original point that it fits in with people's kind of learning outcomes and the needs of the business as well. So thanks very much for taking the time to listen to my video. That's a few thoughts on does leadership training work? Uh, if you're interested in getting any more uh, information uh, as an individual learner or for training for your company, then please do get in touch. Thanks very much for watching.